am Anil Kumar and in this series of Linear Trigonometric Equations Part 1, we have taken a few examples which are simpler but they help us to understand the very basic concepts. The question here is solve sin x plus square root 3 cos x equals to 0 where x is between 0 and 2 pi. So we expect the solution to be in radians, right? Now we have sin x plus square root 3 cos x. Now this is a typical equation where we do not have same trigonometric ratios. Now at times it could be very difficult. Now in this case, let me show you how to solve it. We could write this equation as, let me rewrite, sin x plus square root 3 cos x equals to 0. Uh, we could take this term on the right side or take away square root 3 cos x from both the sides. So we get sin x equals to minus square root 3 cos x. Now we can divide by cos x on both sides. So we get sin x divided by cos x equal to minus square root 3. Now sin x divided by cos x is tan x. So we get another trigonometric ratio whose value we need to find so that we get minus square root 3. So that is what we get. Now, to find this solution, first we should understand tan x equals to minus square root 3. How many solutions are we looking for? Well, if I use the cost rule, then I know that within 0 to 2 pi, that means one full circle, uh, tan is negative in two quadrants. So I'm just writing the rule here so that you understand what I'm trying to say. So tan is negative in which two quadrants? Tan is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. Correct? So we have two possible solutions. So we can say there are two possible solutions. And where do they lie? They lie in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. Correct? So, so we say there are two possible solutions which lie in quadrant 2 and 4. I'm just drawing this line to show you these two solutions. So value of 1, x will be this much. The value of other is this much. Do you see that? So these are two possible solutions. Now the idea is, if I use the calculator, I get only one solution. Let me show you. So what we get here is shift tan inverse. And we need to do minus square root 3, right? Square root 3 bracket close equal to we get one solution and that solution is we did we did tan inverse minus square root 3 and we got one solution which is minus pi by 3 okay this is what we get here minus pi by 3 but unfortunately this is not within our domain 0 to 2 pi so we want we are looking for a positive value between 0 to 2 pi this is not required this is wrong right so this is wrong let me let me make a cross here just to to say this one is wrong is it okay so this is not required so how do we find the solution that is the major question so we are trying to understand those steps and that is why we're calling it part one. So we are understanding some very basic steps. So what we found here is that this thing really doesn't work for us. We know there are two possible solutions and these solutions lie in quadrant two and four. Calculator could only give us one solution. So what we really do is we use the calculator to find that one solution, but that one for acute angle. So what we find is the angle alpha so we'll rewrite this so what we find is let me write first this step that is to find related acute angle that is to say we'll try to find tan alpha so that in quadrant a i mean one all are positive so we'll take positive value okay and then we can find this using calculator for sure. So we can use this to find related acute angle alpha, which will be tan inverse of square root 3. 
shift tan inverse and this is square root 3 bracket close equal to and we get pi by 3 as our answer so now we know that the related acute angle alpha is equal to pi by 3 now that helps to find the real solution right so those are pi by 3's do you see that so these three angles which we made are pi by 3 so we get both the solutions using related acute angle you just get an idea right so first solution is let me write here x equals to so this one is x equals to pi minus pi by 3 right so one solution we have x equals to pi minus pi by 3 this is in quadrant 2 and the other one is x equals to 2 pi minus pi by 3 which is a solution in quadrant 4 right so we get both these solutions do you get an idea so you can calculate this so you can take three common denominator that is you could write this as 3 pi by 3 is it okay so that gives you 3 pi minus pi as 2 pi so you get this as 2 pi by 3 and here you could multiply by 3 right so you could do 3 times which is 6 right 6 minus 1 is 5 so you get 5 pi by 3 and with that you can write down your answer and our answer is x equals to 2 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 the units are radians it is if you don't write radians it will be understood as radians since radians is a ratio right so without the real units right this is just a ratio but i hope the steps are absolutely clear to you how to solve linear trigonometric equation simplify it so that you get a term trigonometric ratio whose value you need to find then figure out how many are possible solutions and where do they lie once you find that out then calculate the related acute angle use the acute angle to find both in this case both the solutions or all possible solutions write them clearly with units so that is what you should be doing i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best Thank <laughs> you.